Thomas. Thomas. Yo, Thomas. Get out of the crib, bro. I need my. Hmm. Where to start? I almost died. How about we start there? I almost died, guys, because of making a bad decision. Any decision you make can affect your life for the better or for the worse. It was the year 2016, around April. And I remember this because, tch, like I said, I almost died. It all started with the words, Hey man, do you think I can borrow that Naruto game that you got? So this guy had asked to borrow my game for a day, right? Let's call him Thomas. I knew he was, but we weren't really friends like that. But to be fair, he did give me two of his games to play as well. So I thought that was a fair deal. But before I could play the game, one of my best friends, Zandy, showed up. And he asked me to accompany him. Apparently his mom had sent him to go get something from another woman. So we walked, we got there, the woman told us to wait outside as she went to go fetch the package we were meant to receive. Bro, did you hear about that nigga who died last night? Oh yeah bro, I heard about that man, crazy bro. Yeah bro, crazy man, I mean... It's dangerous in the streets these days, isn't it, man? Bro, it really is, man. You can't be walking out here at night, you know? I can't wait to get out of this place, bro. But for reals, though, man, that man just stepped on another nigga's shoes, and that guy took out a knife and immediately stabbed him, bro. It's crazy the kind of things people will kill people for these days, isn't it, bro? Man, I just... I don't know, bro. All I know is that you can't roam around these streets at night. Whoever roam around these streets at night... He's trying to see God, bro. He's trying to see God. And I ain't even trying to be funny, bro. Some people just want to see God too early, bro. Facts, bro. Facts. Hmm. Facts. So the lady comes out with the package, right? And hands it over to us. We go back. Zanny goes back to his house. And I go back to mine. Fast forward later that night. There I am playing the game. And they were good, but they weren't really that good, man. So I got bored of them easily. The next day rolls around, right? And there I am, waiting for Thomas. I wait for him for like three hours and the guy doesn't show up. So I decide to go to one of his friends to ask if they can show me where this guy lives. After they tell me, I head over to the guy's house, knock on the door, and there he was. Thomas. I had asked him to return my game, and he said he had left it at one of his friend's house and that he's gonna bring it to my crib as soon as he goes get it. So I'm like, okay, fine, cool. I'm going to go home and I'm going to wait for you. Three hours pass and now it's nine o'clock and I'm pissed off because this guy didn't show up like he said he would. So I get so upset. I decide to leave my house, walk up to his crib, which was like four minutes away from my house. And then I banged on his door. Thomas, Thomas, yo, Thomas. Get out of the crib, bro. I need my game. I need that, bro. Give me my shit, okay? Now I'm upset, bro. Hey, who do you think you are yelling like that in the middle of the night, kid? Who are you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking for Thomas. That's my friend. What do you want with him? I just came to get my game that he borrowed from me. That's too bad, kid. Because Thomas is gone. What? Gone? What? What are you talking about? Thomas don't live here, bro. He was only visiting for the weekend. Oh, he needs God. some milk. He took my Naruto game and he disappeared, man. And I just had to live with the consequences. So after hearing that, I decided to go home. How could I be so stupid? I let that guy fool me and now he's left with my Naruto game. How am I going to explain this to my brother and my friends? Man. Except my I'm going to go Wait, are they, are they talking about me? I mean, they're looking at me, but who the hell is Bura? These guys were definitely high on drugs. Because they were 30 meters away from me. It was dark. There's no way they couldn't see my face. Oh shit. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Bro, I ran for my life, bro. I ran. My house was 20 seconds away, bro. But before I could get there, I tripped and I fell, bro. I fell down, bro. And before I knew it, 
These guys were already on top of me, bro. The man was holding the biggest knife I've ever seen in my life, bro. To this day! To this day! And I laid there, about to get stabbed by this godforsaken soul. No, God, please, no! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Z, is that you? Nah, 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 I know this kid, fam. He lives around the neighborhood. This is Z. Ah, I'll fall, bro, I'll fall. We didn't mean to scare you like that. Go on home, Z. You're free to go. I didn't say anything, bro. I was lost for words. I just went back home, didn't tell anyone. Went up to my room, started crying, bro. And that was that. Moral of the story. There are certain times when being selfish will save you from so many problems. It's up to you to decide who to be kind to. But don't be delusional in thinking that everyone is your friend and that everyone is deserving of your kindness. Because they're not. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I will be dropping a new animation sometime next week. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys next time. It all gone on